Hey, Blessings Prayer Warriors, God bless you today on this Saturday, November 18th. God is good. Amen. Thank you again for joining with me. Please hit the share button that we can get people praying. Amen, amen, amen. Let's get right into it. Our Bible reading today is the 13th chapter of Hebrews. Actually, it's our last chapter of Hebrews. Yep, last one. How about verse 5 and 6? Let your conduct be without covetousness. Be content with such things as you have. For he himself had said, I will never leave you nor forsake you. I think it's the Amplified that says, I will not, I will not, I will not ever leave you nor forsake you. So that we may boldly say, the Lord is my helper. I will not fear what can man do to me? What a promise, huh? Take hold of that one. What a promise. I got our prayer cards. I'm praying over our the play that's coming up. And then today we're praying our prayer focus is liberty and freedom. Our states are Arkansas and Louisiana. And then Kosovo is the, the nation on our prayer focus for a, for a nation. Amen. Lots still going on in Israel, as you can see what they have found in, the, uh, in that hospital there. Unbelievable, all the weapons and children's area behind their MRI machine. Yeah, it's a hospital, okay, with, with bombs, grenades, and guns, and, and now they're proving what has been done to women, but yet the UN and all don't complain about that. Isn't that amazing? Isn't it one-sided against Jews and Christians, but that's okay. We are looking up. We know what's going on. Amen. Let's go ahead and pray. Lord God, almighty Abba, Father, we praise you and thank you for this new day. This is the day the Lord has made. We do rejoice and we're glad in it. Lord, as we live in an upside down world, we don't, we're looking up. Hallelujah. And so we're praising you, Lord. It is getting gloriously dark out there. Lord, we don't want to see abuse of women, abuse of children. On and on, Lord, that's horrible. And that's why we pray. But Lord, we know that evil people will abound until the Prince of Peace comes and sets up his kingdom. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah to the Father. Hallelujah to the Son. Hallelujah to the Holy Spirit, the blessed three in one. Lord, today we'll start praying for our world. We lift up our world before you. We lift up Kosovo before you on the prayer focus on this Saturday, Father. And we pray for the people of those in this village of Astag who have received gospel literature. We pray that the message of the gospel will get in them. They'll be discipled, Lord and grow in you, and I thank you for that. We lift up every nation, Father, from the north, south, east, and west. We lift up the continent of North America, South America, Africa, Asia, Europe, the Pacific, even the Antarctic, Lord. There's even scientists and people that work down. There's actually tourists that go and see the whales and the penguins and all that that's down there. So we lift that up before you, Father, and we pray for the people of the world, Father. We pray for people that are in nations that have blockage to the gospel, that somehow, some way, the gospel will, can, can get in, be it even by a phone, Lord. And, you know, they try to block even all of that, but we pray that the, the gospel will not be hindered. It'll go in and people will be born again. Your word says, woe to you that hinder one from coming in. That, oh, Lord, I just pray, woe unto you lawyers, for you yourself have not entered in and you have hindered those that were entering in. We pray, Father, that leaders of nations would see that what they're doing is going to bring worse eternal damnation to them, Lord. So we pray for them. We pray, Father, for the people of Israel today. And we pray, Almighty God, that the scales would come off the Jewish people. As I heard one person say, they are seeking God more now than they ever have. They're praying. I saw those four big uh, 
bulldozers made into a little synagogue and they're reading the Torah there and all. And in some ways we say, yeah, but they're not seeking Jesus. But this man of God said, yeah, but they're starting to seek God. And that was becoming a thing of the past with the Jewish people. As they seek God, more and more will be open to the gospel message. So we pray for Israel today. We pray for their protection. But most of all, we pray that they would look upon him whose hands they pierce and they will call him friend. They will look to Jesus and they'll be born again. And I thank you. Thank you for that. We lift up our United States of America and we pray for Arkansas and Louisiana and we pray for the people of these two states and we pray, Father, for the churches that are there that they'll continue, Father, to do a great work. Many great churches there, Lord. We thank you for that. We pray, Father, that you would help America. We need help. We're sick. We're bleeding out, Lord. We need help. Help us, Lord, we pray today. And I thank you for that. We pray for those that are in authority in every realm, be it political, families, businesses, arts and entertainment, media, uh, churches, whatever they are. We bind up evil people in Jesus' name. And we pray for the godly, Lord. Lord, we lift up our country. We pray for America today. God, help America. So we lift up our world, we lift up the United States, and we lift up Israel before you. We lift up the prayer cards that have come in this week, and we pray for the needs of brothers and sisters. I pray, Father, for our elderly right now, and I just pray for people that are trying to take advantage of our elderly, and I bind them up in Jesus' name. I pray for our elderly that they'll use wisdom with all these scam artists and all this people that try to steal money and, and things from them, Lord. Lord, that they'll be sharp, Lord. They'll be sharp and they'll know who to listen to. They'll watch out. They'll get credit reports, these free credit reports. They'll make sure everything is in order, Lord. And I thank you. Thank you for that. So we pray also over the prayer needs today, Lord. Every prayer need, and we pray for the needs of brothers and sisters in whatever realm it might be spiritually, mentally, physically, socially, and financially, Lord. We lift up our big play that's coming up, Lord, and we just pray lots involved in this, Lord. I pray for John Rich. Give him the peace that only you can give, and I thank you, Father, for that. I pray for Lindsay and all the actors and, and behind the scenes and the lighting and all that's involved. And, Lord, we do this in excellence, Lord, we do it going over the top, Lord, because we want to see people's lives change. Father, in our world today, we lift up Cameroon, Central Africa Republic, South Sudan, Eteria, Dibonte, Ethiopia, Somalia, Lord, and we pray for these nations now, Lord, and we pray, Almighty God, for their hearts to be open, Lord. Father, I see, uh, you know, some 00 0.1, but yet some Central Africa uh, Republic 31.5% evangelical Christian. So we pray for them today. Now we lift up other Christian organizations throughout our world. We lift up our church first, Christian Faith Fellowship Church, and we pray for our growth, Lord, and we pray that you would deliver us from wicked and unreasonable people, that you, we call in people, laborers, to do the work of the harvest. And I thank you, thank you for that. We lift up every church that's preaching the gospel of Jesus Christ. I thank you for every evangelical work, but it's the church week in, week out, that people come to, week in and week out, to grow, to be disciple, to go, Lord. Thank you for that. So we lift up these evangelical works. We lift up Lasan Movement, Leadership Transformation, Inc., Lai Benso Mission, Life Word, Literacy and Evangelism International, Louis Paulus Associate, Lutheran Church, M.O. Synod. I don't know exactly what that is, but we pray, Father. I trust the organizations at this ministry ask us to pray for, and I thank you for that. Now, Lord, as we wrap up, I pray for my brothers and sisters, and I pray your shalom upon them. 
The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his shalom, shalom. Lord, we thank you for this day. We thank you that Jesus, he is Lord. Jesus, he is Lord. To you be all the glory, the honor, and the praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. We love you, Lord. Hallelujah. Oh, go ahead and give him a kiss. Amen. Hey, thank you for being here today. Blessings upon you and yours. And a list of trumpet sounds today. We'll see you tomorrow on the Lord's Day. Amen. God bless.